to the video game award ceremony. Remember, uh, remember Opaque's doodles, by the way. Yes. Why not talk about the ceremony while you're doodling? Easy. Mm, I could do that, sure. Oh, I feel like I'm that, like, the one that shall not be named because I my name holds so much power. <laughs> what do you say? And maybe I, I don't. Uh, I'm the one in the I'm the one in the room who has all the power in the atmosphere with it, huh? G A, let's talk to Lee. Wait, what? G A, let's talk. What do you mean? Let's talk to G A. What is G A? Game Awards. Game Award. Let's talk to Lee. You know what? You know what? I feel like starting beef, yo Kai. Don't bring, bring, start. Get your ass with... in here. No, get, get stop. Your ass in here, Kai. Stop. Stop. Don't talk to Tully. Stop. Get in here, Kai. Stop. I said stop. Get in here. Stop it. Nah. Why are content. you doing this? Kai, get in here. I had to use your Kai, get in here, Kai. Not if Tully. Bring no, I mean, I actually ass. don't mind you being here. I just. I, I yeah, just bring, want bring, you to be here if you only here. want to. Bring your ass in here. Get in here. Or oh, I'm gonna start flipping tables again. Alright, okay, now you two can talk. Bye. Hi, Kai. Zap. <laughs> Zap left. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> he just went, okay, my. I'm gonna. Give me one second. <laughs> you gonna beat him up? I'm a mystery. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm too short for that. I'm not even gonna attempt that. <laughs> Hi, Kai. Zap. <laughs> I think this is the first time you've heard my voice. Yes, it is. Hopefully it doesn't sound too weird for you. No, not at all. How do I sound? You sound great. Oh, I thank you. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, stop complimenting each other, alright? Can you guys get to the game? <laughs> God, stroking your eagles, goddamn. Okay, okay. Yes, I dragged you in here and left. Yeah, I was trying to be nice and let you talk to the game about the game awards with each other. Because you know, you can't control me. I'm unpredictable, goddammit. I'm an enigma! No! I Venus game, Jama us! Why why you gotta be like this? <laughs> why why you gotta be extra sauce? So what type of games were you, besides the Alan Wake, was there any other games you liked? Uh, Sen game you Senua, uh, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice 2 by Ninja Theory. Uh, that looks really exciting. I've actually played Senua, uh, the very first Senua game. Um, this is what you need to have the streamer power. This is uh, why you need to have the streamer power as me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah uh hellblade is an interesting game uh it was made with oh, you just less it fast <laughs> all right it is this is what you need to have the streamer power as me all right do you need your glasses on or do you just need me to come in here and say everything i text in god damn it Tully. no first of all first of all don't do Tully like that you oh, I can it. if I want. Yeah, I know. That's the point. I started it, and I'm in it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you're laughing. That means you're enjoying it, you goddamn masochist. <laughs> Plus, like I said, I'm the content. I'm content, too. Yeah, but I'm more. <laughs> Sometimes people like mild sauce. Yeah, but you know, they always like the extra mile, because everyone don't want to look like a pussy in front of their friends. They want to look like the manly man of a hero, or a heroine, depending on what's in between your legs, who I don't care. Well, if I'm not manly in any regard. Like I said, or, or heroine, that fits too. 
or in between. I, I, there's not a word for that. In terms hero. of hero, for heroism, I, I guess you could call them a hero, but at that point it's just like okay, now you now you feel less special because you're not you're just a broad term instead of being a hero or a hero. Heroine. So a harem is nice, though. That is. I bring the nice. most cha mild chaos imaginable. <laughs> if I was a D and D personality type, which one would I be? Chaotic evil. Chaotic evil, huh? Funny. What do you think, Kai? I'll I have to agree with that. Wow, not chaotic good. I don't bring a car. not good, but you like being a, a dick? butt mouth to people. Ah. <laughs> a butt uh, mouth. See, but here's the <laughs> thing, though. I never... See, there's, that's the part of the chaoticness of the good. Alright? Because here's the thing with my chaotic good. I bring good things, but I'm a dick. Am I chaotic? I don't bring harm. I don't hurt. I only bring good things. But <laughs> you're going to laugh about it because I'm a dick. In that a good way. Terrible, but it's hard for others to know <laughs> if you're being sarcastic or not. I'm uh, not about being sarcastic. I still bring good results. I ain't my fault. They're stupid, by the way. All right? They call it learning how to read people. Or not being having a stick up your ass. All right? So, hold up, Kermit. I don't want to pin you down and remove that Excalibur you got stuck up there. Anyways, I'm going to leave you for that mental image. Okay, talk about the game, Lord. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> so I was uh, I've been looking forward towards uh, Hellblade Two because um, the very first Hellblade game it explored the uh, mental uh, capacities of psychosis in a video game format that wasn't uh, demonstrative towards the main character suffering through psychosis. Um, Kermit with a stick up. <laughs> His bum. <laughs> uh, not even that gonna be a quiet person. You dragged me a quiet person into this. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> uh, what game did you, uh, are you looking most forward to? There was actually quite a good bit of games that were showcased this year. Not as much as I would have liked, but I, I mean, um, I think the ones I really was ex liked about was the Star Wars Eclipse. Yep, that's the one done by Quantic Dream. Um, so it's gonna more than likely be a choice-based, um, video game very much like um, Detroit Become Human or like Heavy Rain. Um, but uh, some concerns that I have about it is the lead uh, executive of Quantic Dream. So unfortunately, um, okay, really weird that Jeff Keighley on stage said, oh, hey, we don't tolerate abuse or harassment. Here's a game by Quantic Dream. Um, because the lead uh, d developer, uh, David Cage, he tends to be the writer, and unfortunately he's gone on to say, oh, we don't make games for... and then he dropped the F-slur. Um, then he s went on to say on record that, oh, all, in all my games, all the women are uh, whores. That's another thing that he has gone on to say. Um which is pretty demonstrative, uh, pretty bad. Um, then there was the fiasco where Elliot Page needed to sue him um, because he breached the contract. Um, David Cage is a director and a person, apparently. Yeah, uh, yeah, he is not that great of a person. Um, reportedly, plenty of the staff from Quantic Dream... Oh, wow. Oh, fake. You cheered. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the cheers. Excuse me. What the... Cage. Everything is... What the heck? Yeah, David Cage, um... 
actually said those statements, according to uh, employees within Quantic Dream. There was even a point where Quantic Dream staff posted uh, posters around declaring how much of an abusive person David Cage was, and he took down the posters. Um, another instance was he would sue news reporters who would try to report anything about the abuse. Uh, Jason Schreier, um, a news reporter for video games, who is very, very well respected, um, tried to make a report, but was constantly barred from doing so. He, I think, was one of the successful ones who was able to say, like, hey, David Cage is being abusive. Um, there was also a fiasco where Elliot Page had to sue David Cage because, okay, so Elliot Page, in his contract, back when Elliot Page was Ellen Page, um, had in his contract that, hey, n no nudity, no nudity whatsoever, which is reasonable. Um, but there's a... Did hmm? he make a, what was it, a scene or something that involved nudity? Yeah, what happened was um, there was a shower scene. Now, here's the thing. As a 3D modeler, I know how it works. You can have uh, the character technically naked, but the thing is is that you just give them Barbie doll anatomy. You just Barbie doll it, where you don't actually have any of the bits... Uh, drawn out or textured because the camera isn't going to see that anyway so you might as well not even have that textured but unfortunately for some reason in the video game that Elliot Page was in in Beyond Two Souls in the exact scene where there's a shower uh, scene th th all the bits were rendered and the camera doesn't really show it but p hackers were able to mod through the camera and download the 3D model, and effectively it was seen as uh, exploitation of Elliot Page's contract. That's understandable. I remember there was like, the only thing I remember from that was like, there was a big scene, because like you said, there was the no nudity thing, and even though there pretty much wasn't quite nudity, it was still assumed and it turned out to be textured which confuses me as to why yeah it, it it doesn't make any sense because you don't actually have to do that pardon but i must inquire as to what in the mother <laughs> of <laughs> yeah david cage is a piece of work he I don't think anyone understands how his mind works. I, and I do not need to understand. I actually kind of do. So here's what's weird. I will give David Cage some credit in him writing father figures. For some strange reason, his whole thing is he's not even a good... Oh no, he's not a good writer about this stuff. But he's at least somewhat decent in character motivations for fatherly figures. And my hypothesis has to is that um, he lost someone in real life, and that's what he's extrapolating from. Because on multiple interviews, he has said that, oh, he lost someone when uh, years ago, and he has this continuation of this portrayal of a father figure um losing a son or a son losing a father figure it's weird it's a consistent pattern um i i'm only extrapolating and only like assuming like allegedly that something like that might may have happened so it's not really well made but i will admit that there's a guilty pleasure in like oh hey there's emotion emotion the voice actors and per, uh, motion caption actors are doing are carrying the scenes basically um only one third of detroit become human is actually a good game um the whole connor storyline where connor basically has to learn what it means to be like oh a, connor a, and hank. yeah connor and hank yeah that storyline is really really good 
because there's like a father son kind of um dynamic but also uh in terms of what's interesting is that it also presents an interesting dynamic that isn't explored a lot in video games and it's in a lot of video games you see that the right choice and i'm saying this in quotation marks the right choice is usually the one where you kiss up towards the character but what's interesting is that with the character of hank if you do that too much you actually end up uh you actually end up doing the opposite effect if you try to kiss up too much or talk uh nonsensically then you lose some of the admiration of that character. And that's an interesting dynamic that I haven't seen in video games because we tend to see that, oh, hey, the correct choice is the one where you keep complimenting them. But Connor and Hank's storyline presents uh, more of a nuance where, oh, hey, you have to not always be the kiss-up. You have to do what's right it's like a realistic point of view yeah it's more so like nuanced um and it's also brought forward uh brought to the forefront only because of uh the actor of connor actually uh brian deckard and yes that is his actual name deckard <laughs> um he revealed that uh, a lot of the stuff that he had to do with uh, uh, the actor of Hank was uh, ad-libbed, and they could do that because it was all motion capture uh, caught in real time, and a lot of the stuff that they could do was uh, just more organic. Um, there were times where David Cage was like, no, 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 don't do it like that. But then they just went like, no, we're doing it this way. And somehow that's a, hello, frozen lady. Oh, hello, Fujimi. <laughs> so uh, they present more um, of a better dynamic in how they carry the scenes. So I'm a little bit worried about Star Wars Eclipse in terms of David Cage being involved I'm but at the same time I'm looking somewhat forward to it in terms of hey maybe a different writing staff will be behind it and also EA Games has nothing to do with it because yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for as well I'm like okay David Cage isn't that great but he makes some good characters once in a while so yeah, I'm like, please don't look at my Star Wars. <laughs> well, it, the thing is, it doesn't even have to be David Cage at the helm. It could be someone else, and they could bring in all of the good stuff that they've done so far and put it towards the forefront. Um, so I'm hoping, honestly, that David Cage gets kicked out. <laughs> that that that's an honest hope that uh, David Cage gets it kicked out. Good. It might be good. <laughs> Yeah, if David Cage asked me to do something in terms of work, I'd respond with a crunchy MP4 of what one guy that says F you in a parody of an insurance ad. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. It's uh pretty pretty bad. It's I wouldn't work for someone like him at all. Um so I'm trying to be optimistic that, hey, maybe David Cage will have nothing to do with this property and it'll just be the other writing staff um, because there are other writers um, who are way more competent than Cage. Um, I'm hoping for that. Uh, yeah, so that was what was interesting. Um, oh, what time is it? Ooh, okay, it's actually almost time for me to end uh, the stream because it is actually getting late. <laughs> uh, Your bedtime? Yeah, bedtime. Good. Yeah. So. I'm like, it's 9.29 for me. Oh, wow, you're a couple hours before me. Don't forget, doodle. Yes, I won't forget the doodle. I will do doodle. I will do doodle. <laughs> Okay, for now, I will say, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, 
and a good night. And remember, no matter what, you are always loved. And I will do the doodle, I promise. Thanks for talking with me, Tilly. No problem. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye.